Hey everyone, my name is Root, and we're here. This is going to be week number two of the Pokemon Battling Association League, and we're up against Absolute and Seattle Dragonairs. Now, this is a very, very highly ranked team in the preseason power rankings, and uh, we were pretty low ranked in the pre in the preseason power rankings. And he has a very, very scary team. We have a you know all over the place team, but we're going to do our best. We're going to see whatever the heck we can do. Overall, he has a very difficult team to deal with, but we're going to just see whatever the heck he wants to bring here. Uh, he has so many options. He has a lot of scary mons, but we will immediately see the Mamoswine, the Dust Globs, the Tapu Lele, the Vaporeon, Rotom Mo, and the Vanillix. So that's very, very interesting. He brings the Vanillix, but no Alolan Sand Slash. He doesn't bring the Registeel, which is very, very interesting. No Salazzle. Salazzle legitimately tore up my team. No Salamence. No Salamence is pretty wild. Overall, a very, very interesting team. A very, very interesting team that I don't quite know what to do with here. What I think I'm going to do... Part of me just wants to lead off with my Tauros because it feels like the best all-around lead. But that doesn't feel true. Although all my other Mons are much more situational. I don't have a lot of momentum going on in this in this matchup. Yeah, it's tough. It's really tough here. I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to do this. And if anything goes wrong, then I can easily just make my way into the into the slowbro pivot which is obviously what it's meant to do um in particular this week where um it, it's able to just hook up hits and teleport out pretty efficiently here so i think i'm gonna have an okay time kind of maneuvering around that way but it is going to be difficult to manage right okay sorry about that oh we do see the mammoth swine lead which is not ideal it's not ideal at all um however so the thing about Mamoswine, right, is that um, it potentially goes down with some rocks damage to a close combat, but not quite uh, the way that I need it to. Um, now, I could, although re realistically, this thing just wants to go for, man, I really do want a close combat here. It, to a gnome bulk Mamoswine, close combat has an 80%, I might just go for it. I mean, we're here. I, I feel like we kind of just do or die here. It might be Sash, if anything. Does withdraw, which is really interesting. Um, I wonder into what? Into okay, so he might be feeling out the close combat. Which, if he, if that was the case, then that is an insane play. That is a nutty nutty play. Although, I uh, I definitely have to pivot. Like that's not a question here. Um, I really want to pivot out into this thing to kind of just get rocks up and kind of. Um, make his life a little bit more difficult and, and if anything um, that's going to enable my Tauros later in the game to be able to click um, uh, Iron Head and m meaningfully have a, a chance to KO that that Mamoswine without kind of having to um, without kind of having to worry about close combat co close combating into the dust labs. but I think he might have expected a a Zerkatry lead, which definitely makes sense. Um, it gives me the most momentum. It, it is really my only momentum mod, and, and, and I really do love to play for momentum, generally speaking. But it was really too difficult of a call to make there. Um, just out of curiosity, I do want to see how, what a Zerkatry Energy Ball is doing. Zerkatry Energy Ball should always KO, potentially, on a Mamoswine, assuming it's no bulk, which I think is a mildly safe prediction here. I don't really know what this Susclops wants to do. The Susclops can definitely be super annoying. Um, yeah, it does come out with the will o -Wisp. That's kind of what I ex expected, but um, against this, against this, I don't think it matters the most. I think I'm going to have to rely on a couple mods to, to get a Toxic off on this Dust Collapse, but overall, um, as long as I can get Rocks up, and his only, what are his Defog options? Uh, it's only the Rotom, it looks like. So if the Rotom does come in, it does allow for a free, for a free, um, defog but i think that's just kind of a position that i have to put myself in I, I i think i have to just not mind that and kind of concern myself with other things right so so what i can do from there is i can pivot into the lorantis and then this is kind of the play the situation that i wanted to put myself in it goes into the lele instead now um in theory i kind of hard wall this thing so i wonder what this lele wants to come in here and do i wonder what this lele wants to come in here and do I do get the rocks off. Um, I really don't know what this Lele wants to do here. Now, I don't really have dedicated switches into to the Lele. Although, hmm. I think, he, I don't know. This is a very, very interesting play. I don't expect a Hidden Power Fire to come out. Let me see. Um, what is a Lele really doing here? 
Um, it could just go for a straight up Focus Blast. I don't feel like that's the play, ultimately. He could have expected me to Toxic. That's definitely possible. Um, I could go into this thing, although I don't want to give up my ability to kind of handle the Rotom Mo uh, the best. So how do I want to do this? I mean, I feel like I want to stay in. He's risking a lot by staying in on a potential Iron Head or whatever the case. But no, I, re I really don't have any business staying in. I mean, I probably should... Uh, I don't know. This is really tough. This is genuinely really tough. But I think he might have expected me to pull a double switch there. I'm not... Mm, I don't know. Regardless, we're going to try to make some things happen with Lorantis. Goes for the Moon Blast. Um, this is really specially defensive Lorantis. But that is still... That's a critical hit. Um, it's still a very, very strong hit. I do get a special attack raise um, because of that. Um, it's not going to matter too, too much in this, in this matchup. But... Um, it will allow me to kind of get a free... Well, I probably should synthesis. Yeah, I definitely should synthesis just in case he wants to switch out. But in, in either case, even if he does want to just Moon Blast again, the fact that he's not, hopefully not going to crit me twice should mean that I take one. And then I... Actually, should I infer that that is specs from that damage? Um, It looks like... No, it's definitely not specs. But Psyshock actually potentially just KOs me. Yeah, okay, that's pretty bad. That's very, very bad for me. However, what does that allow me to do offensively, right? So I want to see... Um, Tauros Iron Head is a potential straight Oko. The Circuitry Volt Switch does around half. Um, Tauros just feels like my overall best play. Shadow Ball doesn't quite get me there. I mean, it does have a chance to KO, but it's not the strongest chance. Um, and this is assuming a no-bulk Lele. Uh, this thing is definitely not Scarfed. It's not Specs. Um, I don't think I know the... It could be Babiri Berry. Man, if, it, if this thing is Babiri Berry, then I really put myself, put myself in a very awkward position. But Iron Head should get a, a lot of damage on something, right? It could be on the... If the Dust Lodge comes in, that'd probably be ideal because I at least get some damage off on this thing. And I can kind of manage it in other ways. Does see the Life Orb. And, um, I will get an Iron Head off. And that does very, very little damage. So, let's see here. I think ultimately I just... Hmm. No, I think ultimately I just make this play. Because, let's see, I think I have to assume that this dus this Dusclops is max defensive, right? This definitely looks like a really defensive Dusclops. And if I aggress and if I suit oh, that is a fantastic play. That's a fantastic play. I think that that might KO me. If that KOs me, then I'm in a terrible spot. It doesn't quite KO me. But that was a fantastic play. There's no way around that being just a fantastic, fantastic play. This thing could have Shadows Knee too. I have no idea. But that's a fantastic play. Um Shadow Ball isn't even quite a KO here, which is terrifying. That's terrifying. I can't... I don't feel like I'm in a position to risk this at all. Uh, this is bad. Um, yeah, this is really bad. Um. Do I just risk the Shadow Sneak? I mean, how many moves can I have, right? <sighs> Man, it probably... If this thing... Mm, yeah, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. Mm, this is a rough, rough position to be in. But that was a fantastic play. I can't... I really can't say anything about that being just a fantastic, fantastic play. But, yeah, we get a lot of damage off on that Shadow Ball. Uh, so that's pretty great. That's going to put me in a position where my Tauros can come in. My Tauros can potentially click Iron Head. And then from there, we definitely pressured this... I, I had to give up my Chandelier just to deal with this Dusclops, but I think it, at the end of the day, it has to be worth it, right? Actually, what I might want to do... No, not, not yet. Not quite yet. Yeah, I think Tauros is going to be the optimal play here. Um, nothing really wants to switch into an Iron Head. Um, the... Vaporeon does, but then it puts this Dusclops in an awkward position where it can no longer switch in because, um, well, it, it, unless he's able to defog, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's obviously my best line here, and I think Taurus is going to be kind of, uh, the key to winning this now. Um, obviously my, my Zerka Tree is still going to be huge. I think my Zerka Tree, um, has a lot that it can still do here. I think Vaporeon is probably the optimal thing that he would want to go into, 
me actually uh, either the Rotom or either the Rotom or the Vaporeon, I think is what makes the most sense here, right? Um, if the if the Rotom comes in, then I kind of already gave up my best answer to it in my Lorantis, right? So I don't. I, I guess I have to bring in my 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 Zerkatry, right? Um, letting my Lorantis go down might be what causes me to not have the best matchup against this Rotom, and then ultimately, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I can deal with the Rotom decently well, though. Just through offense, but it's going to always be difficult. It's going to really be difficult to, to manage the Rotom. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out a lot here. I don't know. The fact that he took so much time in considering what to do here makes me think that it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. And assuming... And assuming that it's a really uh, offensive Rotom... Yeah, here we go. Assuming that it's a really offensive Rotom, Body Slam has a chance to KO here. Body Slam has a chance to KO here. And I think... Yeah, he really can't KO me. So I think I just go for it, question mark? Let me see. After Rocks... This is assuming no bulk, obviously, but... I don't really have that big of a chance. No, I, I don't think I can make this play. Oh, but I think I have to. I, I have to. I really do have to. I put, I've, I put myself in a not great position here. I've already put myself in a not great position here. Um, If I somehow... Oh, I somehow got this roll. Okay, so by the looks of it, by the looks of it, after Rocks, Body Slam was, had a 38% chance to KO. Now, if I got that roll, that's not the best, right? Um, because obviously, yeah, I mean, obviously that Rotom was the biggest threat remaining to, my, to, to the rest of my team. And if that came down to a roll, then it's tough to feel great about whatever's about to happen. But, uh, this thing wants to come in. This thing wants to come in. Oh, and, I, and also I have no aromatherapy support anymore, which is really interesting. But he also has no defog support anymore. Man, there's so many reasons that's not good. Um, I think I just do this. I think I just do this, and let's see. Um, this Vaporeon probably takes it really, really well, but I think this is going to be more about kind of managing the damage output. Actually, Energy Ball should be a 2 KO, assuming just a max HP, va uh, if it's a max defensive Vaporeon, then... Energy Ball is a potential to a KO. If he tries to bring in the Mammoth Swine, then that's a potential KO straight up. Straight up. Um, the Lele is going to be worst case scenario, I think. But I really never have a solid answer to the to the Lele anymore, right? So I kind of have to figure out what I'm going to do to kind of manage the rest of his team. But the Lele makes things really difficult. I think... I think, um, I think the combination of Vanillux... Mamoswine. Vanillix Mamoswine does bring in this thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just not going to do enough damage here. I'm probably just not going to do enough damage here. But, but, I am going to put myself in a position. I don't know, man. Ugh. Yeah, that does no damage. So, I mean, potentially AV, right? I mean, that's that did very little damage, which surprises me. But um, I potentially do this. And then where does this get me? I mean, this is just a potential pivot. Um, hmm. I could do this just to try to teleport into the... Into the... Tauros, because that's ultimately going to be how I win this matchup, right? If I if I can if I can repeatedly get into my Tauros safely, then I think I can manage something doable. But that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That's just so much damage, dude. I probably have to use my Skarmory better too. Oh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, it's just it's just bad. Okay, so now I'm in a position where I can bring this thing in. I don't think I have enough damage on this thing because this thing just got all its CP back. So I, I kind of have to click. Um, 
I kind of have to just click um, Iron Head, right? Yeah, Iron Head is my only chance. Uh, Body Slam is a chance, but that's a huge, huge roll. It's guaranteed after rocks, but I don't. I no longer have the, the rocks damage. I'd have to bank on a 43% chance in order for Body Slam to kind of protect me against the Vaporeon switch in. But what am I doing against the Vaporeon once it comes in? Vaporeon, if it's physically defensive, um, it doesn't look like I'm doing a whole heck of a lot. Body Slam is a 2 a KO, potentially. Um, this is really tough. I think, yeah, I, I mean, I think he has to protect this, right? I think he has to know that that a potential Iron Head, yeah, okay, okay. So at the very least, I made the right call this on this one play. Um, this is a potential sack here. Uh, this could be Scarfed, actually. This could very easily be Scarfed. And if it is, then that's really problematic for me. That's very, very problematic for me. But I don't think he's revealed any other Scarfs yet. Yeah, he definitely has not. But this thing just goes down. This thing just goes down. Uh, he could bring in the Vaporeon safely now. If the Vaporeon comes in safely, then... If the Vaporeon comes in safely, then maybe I have to play off of the chance that he that he has to wish again? Yeah, I, can't, I really can't give him a free wish again, right? I have to play to the idea that he's going to try to wish again. Um, and I, and I probably just take a Scald straight out anyway, right? Goes for a flip turn. Okay. Okay. Trying to play off of my potential chokes here. But whatever comes in gets Oko'd by a, an Iron Head. And then I think I think Tauros is in a position to potentially win. I think. Unless I'm missing something. I think. I really do think that Vanillax was the only Scarfer there. And if he just gave up his Scarfer. Then. I think. I have a really, really strong chance to win here. Um, a banded mammoth swine. A banded mammoth swine ice shard uh, does a really good, solid amount, but Iron Head does what it needs to do after rocks. After rocks, well, it says Iron Head is a sixty-nine percent chance to KO, which doesn't look great for me. But I mean, especially after I, especially after I made. Uh, oh, this thing is scarfed. Okay, 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 okay. Now that's potentially pretty bad. That's potentially really bad. But, okay, so this thing is scarfed. This thing is scarfed. Okay, okay, okay. I know the line that I have to make. I, I, all, all that I have to do is prevent... I, I just have to prevent the... Vaporeon from being able to I just have to prevent the Vaporeon from being able to um from being able to wish pass. So if this is a really if this is if this is a really hmm Yeah, this is tough. This is really really tough. It's just going to come down to Kenny body press KO the Vaporeon from when it comes in on... It comes in... Oh. Can I KO this thing? Can I KO this thing? I think I can. After hail? Oh, no chance. Okay. Um, and the hail fades anyway. But I should theoretically outspeed this thing. Oh, no. It, I mean, if it has any speed, then it, then it, it, outsp it should outspeed me. Oh, because I'm burned. It's because I'm burned. It's because I'm burned. Oh, this is rough. It's because I'm burned. Hmm. I think I just have to do this. I think I just have to do this. And then from here, yeah, it just gets the wish off. Mm, this is rough. I really put myself in an awkward position, but um, I guess that dust clops messed me up a lot more than I would have expected here. Uh, I think I think I'm afraid of Volt Switch. Am I though? 
I'm gonna... We have to we have to try it at this point. I think I've clicked energy ball enough where I don't think he would go into the mammoth swine most times. Yeah, so we will get some damage off on this thing. Um hopefully we get enough damage off where even a non life orb um iron head will be able to KO. But it's always gonna be really awkward for me. Mm, no. No no no. That's not enough. So now how can we play this? I can give this thing up in order to get more damage off with the with the Zerka tree. Which would then which would then allow me the chip damage in order to be able to uh KO with a um, which would then give me the trip damage that I need to to KO with uh, a non-life or boosted Iron Head. There's a Thunderbolt. That's fine. All I need, all I need, I probably just just hit um, just hit Dazzling Gleam because Dazzling Gleam is going to probably do what what I needed to do here. A uh, Tauros without a life orb. Poros without a life orb. What kind of damage am I looking at? Yeah, yeah, I think I think pretty much any damage onto this Lele. No! Mm, I misclicked. I misclicked. Oh my god. I really hope I don't lose to that misclick. I really hope I don't lose to that misclick. I meant to click Dazzling Gleam. In fact, that would have allowed me. That would have given me a beast boost, and I think it would have. Ugh, I think it would have sealed things up, man. But now the mammoth swine comes in. Now the mammoth swine comes in. He knows that I'm scarfed. I'm, I'm almost positive he knows that I'm scarfed. How do I do this? Oh, I messed up. If I just click Dazzling Gleam. Well, no, because now he can scarf himself into Earthquake and I can't really win anymore. No, but I outspeed a max speed Mammoth Swine. So he has to click Ice Shard. Oh, I can't believe I misclicked. Mm. This is a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. I, yeah, I, I outspeed. If I just click Dazzling Gleam, this would have been a non issue. Because I would have KO'd this thing. I would have gotten damage off on the Lele. And then my Tauros wins. I misclicked into a loss. That's good. That's a tough one to swallow. That's a really, really tough one to swallow. But that's going to be how week two ends. That's going to be how week two ends. That's a really rough one. That's a really rough one. I don't know what I can do anymore. I, I, all I needed was any damage onto the Lele. And... I think I win this with Dazzling Gleam. Hey, this is Root a couple days later in editing, and we talked about this scenario a lot for this endgame. And what we decided was that, obviously, I misclicked. I definitely messed up by just straight up not clicking the move that I wanted to. And so in my mind, all I had to do, if I clicked Energy Ball, then I KO the Vaporeon straight up, I get a Beast Boost, and then two Energy Balls, supposed Beast Boost to a Tapu Lele, straight up KOs it. I knew that it was fast, I knew that it was strong, so I had to assume that it was pretty much uh, max speed, max special attack, or close to it. And then on what should be the final turn of the match, uh, that Psychic Surge would have still been up, so I couldn't have gotten Ice Sharded, and then a last Energy Ball would have taken out the Mammoth Swine. That should have been the end of the game. Now, well, when we were talking about it, the one thing that I, that I apparently didn't clock during the game itself, and it probably just comes up to nerves, but uh, that lately was in fact max special attack, max speed, but it did also have a, an Assault Vest on it to try to take hits a lot better and because it was assault vested that means that Zerka Tree never has the opportunity to KO, to KO even after a beast boost um, before the Lele is able to KO me back so I, it would have been a loss no matter what happens because of that assault vest and that's going to be how week two ends it was a super unfortunate match uh, there are a few things that I wish I had done better obviously but uh, with that I'm going to get back to 
past me. Well, that's going to be week two. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PBAL. That is a hard tongue twister to say. And uh, more stuff to come in the very, very near future. But once, once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.